just want to go through some basic uh, analyzing of graphs in AP Cal AB. And this would be really at the very beginning of analyzing graphs. Uh, this stuff is the kind of stuff that shows up on the uh, AP Cal exam, the multiple choice part. And I just want to make sure we're clear about things. So the question is asked, that's asked is this. Um, where is f of x greater than 0? Right, this is a multiple choice question, and it comes back, and we're supposed to have something intelligent to say about this. So remember, f of x, when we're talking f of x, f of x is height. And greater than 0 does not include 0. Right? So if we look at the graph, I know some of you are just furious at me right now because you think I'm making fun, but I'm not making fun. We just have to be clear about this. So I look at this, I'm like, where is this graph less than zero? And it's right here, isn't it? But we get to this, but how do we say how close we get here? So we'll just make a little circle here. These are open circles, if you can't tell. These are open circles here. So how would you define that area? Well, I would certainly say that x is what? By definition, x is greater than 0 and less than 2. Right? Another way that you could say that is it's the interval 0 to 2. Now, this is interval notation. This is not the point 0 to. This is interval notation. So on the interval, and we have these brackets here. They're, if the brackets are round, it means that the point here, the value here, is not included. If it if it's square, well, I'll show you that. For now, this, okay? Now, here's a different question. Here's a different question. Where is slope? Remember, slope is f prime at x. Where is slope equal to 0? Well, look at this for a second, right? We look at this and we're like, the slope from here to here is negative, isn't it? The, the function seems to be continuous. It's negative, and then from here, seems like about here to there, is positive. So where was the slope zero? If the slope is negative and it turns into positive, somewhere here, so it's this point right here, isn't it? And where is that point? And that point, the answer here is x is equal to zero, isn't it? Well, then the next question goes to this. Where is f prime at x greater than 0? Where is it greater than 0? Well, if it's 0 here and positive here, we can see the slope is positive here and positive here. Then how do we define that? Well, I would say x is greater than what? 1 less than negative. Um, woo, sorry. Sorry about that. Less than infinity, right? Now the question is, how do we write this in interval notation? Well, in interval notation, we'd write the interval 1, comma, infinity. Remember, infinity is always going to have a round piece around it because we can never reach infinity and we probably want to call this positive infinity. All right, let's look at one more and see if we can make any sense of that, okay? So here what we have, what we have here is the sine function. And what I want to know here is, this gets a little bit trickier, what I'd like to know here is where is f of x greater than 0? Well, we're on this interval right here, right? So we're going to start here and go to here. The question is, what is this point right here? And how would we find it? And I want to remind you that you probably had trig, and you need to be looking at the unit circle. So we know that sine is 0 at 0 at zero radians and zero at pi, isn't it? At pi, isn't that true? So everywhere in between, so x 
is greater than zero and less than pi. Otherwise said as zero to pi. Okay? So that answers this question. The next question is this. And you can really look forward to having something like this on the AP exam. The next question is this one. Where is f prime at x greater than 0? So now we want to know slope, don't we? Now this is, please, got to take this. f prime at x is slope. So where is the slope greater than 0? What I usually do is I go to where the slope is 0. I think the slope is 0 here, right? And I think the slope is 0 here, don't you? So we're going from here to here. Right, everywhere here the slope is zero, isn't it? I'm sorry, I apologize, the slope is positive, isn't it? But where is that? Well, that's x is greater than or equal to zero and less than what? Less than pi halves, right? This is 90 degrees, isn't it? So how would you write this in notation form? You would write, whoops, sorry, because zero is included, so you'd write this in this form. Zero pi halves. This is not, pi halves is not included, right? Because the slope here, the slope at pi halves is zero, isn't it? The slope here, we know what's happening here, right? This thing is continuing. If we could see the rest of it, it's continuing here. So the slope is positive here, isn't it? All right? Okay. Uh, oh, what else? Here is another place that we have a slope of zero, but from here to here, the slope is positive, isn't it? Well, where is that? Where is that? Well, I forgot how I want to answer that. Okay, so what is this value here? This value is, if this is pi halves, this is pi, this is three pi halves, isn't it? And this, of course, is two pi. So it's increasing from here. So how are we gonna write this? Well, x is greater than three pi halves and less than or equal to two pi, right? So to put that into interval notation, we're not, we are not including this, so it's, 3 pi halves comma 2 pi so the rounded parentheses in, in interval notation means not included the square one means included okay all right I think we got this good job good work